WTFNN. Headline News Update. And welcome to the 2 p.m. update with me, David White. So we have a market that's up about 1% on extremely light volume. Uh, we're up at uh, 39.90 on the S&P cash, uh, although volume is, I'm going to say, at this time, 30% lighter. We're doing about 5.4 billion shares on the CBOE consolidated tape. We're probably seven-ish uh, would be around this time for a, a, kind of an average day, maybe even a little bit below average. So fairly quiet uh, on the Western Front for volume. Uh, but almost as always when you get into these weekends, if you're not already in a massive downtrend, the idea is that the short sellers are almost always the weakest hands. And uh, as uh, the first few start uh, actually covering, it means the price goes up and more cover. And you get this kind of light volume move higher. Unfortunately, normally, and normally or usually, more than average, you want to see the market go down on lighter volume into uh, bigger, longer weekends like we're getting ready to have. Uh, and generally the problem is that when the shorts leave, if there is any downside next week, there won't be a lot of folks uh, to be natural buyers on the way down. That's where you get the big kind of gaps in the market when everybody is on one side. Not always do you get the gaps, but if you get them, they're generally pretty good, and there aren't a lot of people to actually uh, say, hey, Cover me now. Get me out. Uh, nope. It's just the opposite. There's nobody there. Market goes lower. Uh, you have to go a lot lower to find some folks in there. On earnings, uh, we've got a few things going on today. Um, you know, uh, uh, Agilent is uh, up 7%. Dell up 6%. Um, Zoom was down 4%. Probably the outlier of the bunch is uh, Dollar General. I think it was down... DLTR, take a quick look. Uh, it's down, yeah, almost 9%. We'll see you in a minute for the show. We've got lots of stuff to talk about, even on a quiet day. The reality 